Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today uh, my video would be based on the question that I got from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. The gel image shows seven alleles, let's call them one through seven in uh, order of size with one being the largest and seven being the smallest. In this sample of 11 individuals which is the second most common allele. And as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again, and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, first of all, let me give you some uh, theory here. First of all, uh, we have to find uh, where we load uh, our samples, uh, whether we can uh, load uh, on this side, and uh, our samples would travel in this direction or we can load our samples here and our samples would travel in this direction. And uh, this letter here would help us to find uh, an answer. As you see here we have uh, the largest uh, fragments and on this side we have the smallest fragments and as far as you understand the heaviest uh, fragments would travel less distance than those uh, which are lightest. So that means that uh, we loaded our samples on this side and our samples uh, traveled in this direction. So this uh, one would be the heaviest and these two would be the lightest or would have a smallest uh, number of tandem repeats. So now when we know this information, let's uh, take a look at uh, people. We are told that we have 11 samples from 11 people. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So each letter stands for one person and we are told that we have seven alleles. Let's count them. This would be the heaviest one variant of allele. This would be uh, also allele, alleles of the same size. This is also going to be alleles of the same size. And uh, all these alleles would have the same size if they travel the same distance. For example, this couple of alleles from person K and J uh, have the same size. They travel the same distance and the size is about 600 base pairs. So this letter we load uh, here uh, different um, variants of sizes of DNA. There are six uh, variants of the uh, sizes starting from 2000 and ending with 500 bases. So now we can use uh, this letter as a reference in order to find uh, the size of uh, our alleles. So this allele would be the heaviest, it traveled uh, the smallest distance and uh, for example next allele Next allele by size would be here, so this is going to be second allele that uh, this person has. We are deployed, so we have uh, one allele from uh, mother side, another allele from the father side, and here would be also allele of the same size, but what is interesting that this person B has only one band. That means that... Uh, this person has two alleles of the same size. So because uh, two alleles of the same size, so DNA have the same length, this um, DNA derived from mother side and father side would travel the same distance and here we would have two alleles of the same size. And this person also has allele of this size and person E F and K. So uh, next allele 
and size would be here so this would be uh, next allele by size and once again you may see that person D also has two alleles of the same size so let's now uh, count uh, which allele are more frequent in this group of people I do not highlight uh, the rest alleles because it is obvious that for example this allele only happens once and uh, this variants of alleles would happen once two alleles here and one allele here so still it is less than what we see in these two uh, rows so uh, in order to give an answer let's uh, take a look at our questions first so once again uh, this image shows seven alleles this is one allele by size this is second type of allele this is third type of allele fourth fifth sixth and seventh and uh, let's call them one seven in order of size with one being the largest and seven being the smallest so basically we have to choose between uh, these two uh, variants of alleles let's count them one two and three we have two alleles here four five six and seven alleles uh, and uh, this type of alleles we see one two and three here four five six so uh, alleles that I highlighted with a yellow color are present here in a quantity of seven and alleles that I highlighted with blue color are present here uh, in a quantity of six and our question is uh, which is the second most common allele and this allele is going to be number one yellow uh, type of alleles going to be number two and this which is going to be second common allele would be number three and this is going to be our answer today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye